Now, your weather alert forecast. Hi, everybody. We'll start with rainfall amounts over the past 24 hours. They're pretty impressive. In fact, the areas in pink and red down here represent anywhere between two and three inches of rain, with Nebraska City over two, Palmyra two and uh, three quarters, and Randolph, Iowa, down toward Glenwood, over two and a half inches of rain. It's still coming down out there as well. Off it picked up two and fourteen hundredths across the metro, about an inch and three quarters, a little over that from Millard to uh, Epley, and then an inch forty out in Council Bluffs. So, really, some amazing rainfall amounts for December. As we take a look at the rainfall, widespread, mainly light rain over western Iowa, back toward uh, Lincoln areas, with some moderate amounts of rain, again, lifting into Cass County, and that's going to be moving into the metro area here over the next uh, hour, hour and a half or so. Again, we showed you this with the, uh, you can see the circulation around that storm system. Notice the conversion to snow down in this area here. Now, that's going to be lifting northward. A winter weather advisory is in effect for south central Nebraska, including some of our western counties that would be over toward Polk and York. That starts at 7 o'clock, goes till 6 a.m. That's where we could be seeing some heavier amounts of snow. As we uh, again saw the radar there, let's, let's advance from that and move on to current conditions where it is wet out there as we look at Dodge Street and 102nd, 41 degrees, present temperature with north winds at 17 miles an hour. That makes it feel like about 32, so it's a cold, wet rain. The clouds overhead will zoom down to the neighborhoods, 38 degrees in Lakeshore. And notice temperatures in the mid and upper 30s in the western sections of Douglas and Sarpy County, lower 40s from Swanson Lake down toward Willow Springs and up toward Epley Airfield. And that's important for what could be occurring later on tonight. Notice along the Missouri lower 40s and that extends eastward with 45 degrees in, in uh, Clarinda to the west of us. They're already in the 30s. Now you get the storm moving up here and that just by virtue of the dynamics of the storm itself that can cool the air and perhaps uh, cause it to snow even with temperatures in the mid 30s. So that's something we're looking at later on tonight and uh, it's difficult to pinpoint when and where this is going to be uh, uh, what scenario this is going to uh, uh, set up as we head into the overnight hours. Now, taking a look at the radar, there's the storm itself making its way into southern Kansas. The fetch of moisture goes all the way up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Imagine that, raining in December that far north. And there's the snow off the back side of that. Now, as we take a look at uh, our storm impacts for the metro, here's the way things look. It's going to stay as rain for us, we think, through the evening and into part of the overnight as that storm moves into Missouri. On the back side of that, there you see the cooler air. That's at 2 a.m. Now, as we head to, uh, after 4 a.m. toward the morning hours, notice the changes. A mix, possibly some snow falling for the metro. This particular model is actually bringing the snow a little bit farther to the, to the east of us with, again, a conversion to rain off the back side of that. So we'll see how this pans out as this continues to lift northward and uh, the rain should be over by noontime tomorrow. Let's take a look at temperatures now. Another forecast model showing lower 40s through much of the evening. Much of this is rain off the back side of that. You see the colder air off to the west of us around 38 at 4 a.m. And so we could be seeing a, a mix or conversion after 3, 4 a.m. and lingering into the morning drive. You see it there. That could cause some problems for your morning commute. We'll try to pinpoint some snowfall amounts at 10 uh, when we look at the next few model runs here. But as we take a look at tonight, we'll drop to the mid 30s for tomorrow. High temperatures, that'll be in the morning hours. High temperatures tomorrow will be around 40 degrees. Could be seeing some morning snow or a mix of rain and snow. It'll be a windy, blustery day with winds 15 to 25, gusting to 35. Rain should be over by the afternoon, remaining cloudy. Another system rolls in here. We could see some rain, possibly a rain of mix and, uh, uh, rain and snow on Tuesday evening. 45 will be the high on Tuesday. Then it should be dry. Cloud cover on Wednesday. Notice a downturn in temperatures as we head toward the end of the week, 31 on Friday, and morning temperatures on Saturday in the teens. But warming up by Sunday. Kevin. Yeah.